What's going on everybody? My name is Matthew Gilliland. Um, I'm here to talk to you all about haters and trolls that like to bring you down. And I hope that this helps everybody in the long run who takes their YouTube career seriously. And they love posting videos like I do. Um, when dealing with people like that, I know it can be frustrating. And it, and I know it brings a lot of people down because you think to yourself, I didn't even do anything to this person. And yet here they are commenting about me, calling me all these names and stuff. And I don't think I deserve that. <laughs> I just give up on YouTube. In general, I should quit. Well, let me tell you something. Don't. Don't quit. Because if you do, you're giving them the power, the victory. Don't let that happen. I beg all of you. With haters, they want that. They want you to stop doing what you love doing because they are jealous or they have too much time on their hand or they just love to do it just to do it. And it doesn't work on me, nor should it with you. For 10 years, I've dealt with these motherfuckers. I've even had some tell me way back then, when I first started, to go kill myself. And you know what? I wish back then I would have stood up for myself. I was emotionally strong back then. No, not emotionally, but I was physically strong back then. But emotionally, I wasn't. You can have the muscle mass, but you can be sensitive to, to it. But over time, you, you really start getting sick and tired of it all. And there's going to be a breaking point to where either you give up totally, which I hope nobody does, or you fight back. And that's what I encourage everybody to do when dealing with these pricks. Over time of dealing with haters, I have grown immune to their insults or their negative shit. Ooh, one thumbs down. Good job. But thank you for the view. You just gave me power, dumbass. That's how you should view it. Even though you get a thumbs down, they still participated in watching your video. And that should give you power. Because they're contributing to you. Whether it's a thumbs down or a thumbs up. What matters is they viewed it. They watched it. Doesn't matter how long they watched it. They watched it. That counts. And it'll go straight into your views. Your total views. And that's what these fuckers don't realize. They think it's okay to be stupid and comment negative shit on your channel when watching these videos, but yet here they are contributing to your views. So in the end, who's the fucking winner? You are. Well, us as people who make content. Another method of viewing this is, <laughs> I do this all the fucking time. This one person yesterday called me a fucking noob. I basically used my own words. I didn't block him. Because why? Why block? When there's going to be more coming. Why block him? Fight him back. Tear them apart. Fucking tear them apart. 
with your insults. Don't threaten them because that's what they want. They want the power. Don't fucking threaten them. Tear them apart. Because it's your creation. It's your content. They didn't fucking help you. They weren't there the whole fucking time. They weren't there with your struggles. They weren't there with your happy days. They weren't there for shit. And then they come up out of the blue. And just to criticize, tear them apart. I'm encouraging all of you YouTubers out there, take those motherfuckers, tear them apart. Make them feel like shit. And I know some of you are going to say, I don't have that in me. But when will the day come? When will the fucking day come where you have it in you? How much more of this shit are you going to take? I was done after my fifth year doing this. And I started to take these motherfuckers and I started to rip them apart with my words. I use the truth against them. And they hate it. They fucking hate it. If they have no channel, bring up the fact. Why the fuck are you talking to me? You have no content. You have no say-so. You have no right calling me a noob. You have no right calling me a piece of shit. You have no right calling me anything. If anything, you're the dumbass. For just coming on my channel thinking you know everything about me in one split second. When in reality they don't know shit from apple butter. They don't know their own asshole from the ground. You will eventually have to stand up for yourself. And say enough is enough and start ripping into them. By using the truth. May I mind you. No threats. Again, I'll say it. No threats. Stop whatever whatever it is you're doing. If the hater's still in there watching, bring up one. Why the fuck are you still here if you don't like my shit? Two. I'm looking at your channel right now and you barely have any fucking subscribers. Three. You barely have any views on any of your videos, so why the fuck are you coming to me? And make, trying to make fun of me. You're talking to a bigger fish in the pond. I've dealt with those people too. You need to fucking tell them the truth. Make them feel like shit. Otherwise. These motherfuckers are going to keep coming. They're a disease. They're a fucking plague. They have nothing better to do. Than to criticize. And make other people feel like shit. The more you block them. The more that they'll probably make a new account. And come at you again. They're going to find several ways to make you feel like shit. And it's up to you to defend yourself. How long will you put up with this? I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't put up with it. I've put up with a lot of bullshit in my life. But this? These haters? These trolls? Nah. No. No. I fight back. I used to tuck tail and run, but now I fight back. Because I have learned the more that I fight, the less they come. And they hate people that fight back. Because one, you are doing it either on a video or a live stream and it embarrasses the ever-living shit out of them. They don't like to be embarrassed. Granted, it might look like bullying, but in the end, you are defending yourself and what you have made. The more you fight... The less they come. That's what I'm trying to get at. 
the more you fight back and stand up and tear them apart, the less they come back. You can't just ignore them. Because they'll keep coming and coming and coming. Because they feel it. They feel that you gave them the power. You gave them fucking power by not saying anything. Or if you block them, okay, let me just start up a new account and try again. People, I'm not trying to yell at any of you. I'm trying to encourage you to fight. Fight back. Push them back. Say, no, I'm the superior one. I'm the one that made this. I made all these videos. You didn't contribute. So you have no right to call me either a noob or this or that. When it's you as a creator of the content, you have every right to say all what I have said. Use logic. Use the truth. That is your greatest weapon against these motherfuckers. The logic is they have nothing else to do. They want attention. And you'll give it to them, but not in a good way. Or three, it's jealousy. The truth that you can use against them is that why are you on my channel? If you don't like what I'm doing, why the hell are you viewing it? Two. You just contributed to my view, so thank you. So You could have just not viewed it at all. Or three, do the channel comparison. If they have no content, then fucking laugh at them. Or just say that they're using a fake account. Their account is fake. You guys are smart. All of you. All these YouTubers. All, no, wait, all of these YouTubers. All of you YouTubers out there are smart. I know you can think of it. Think up insults. In a proper fashion. All of you can. I believe in all of you. If you didn't, if you didn't create... Oh, okay, let me rephrase that. Rewind. If you did not have the smarts, then how the hell did all of you come up with all these brilliant videos? It's from your mind. You're creative. That's what these people don't like. It's how creative all of us are. We are different from each other. And don't let these motherfuckers compare you to another successful YouTuber. That is what they want. They want all of us to collide. When we are trying to grow ourselves. Don't let them do that. Cut them off. Stop them right in their track. Say yeah granted. You're right about one thing. They are successful. But where did they start? They start from rock bottom. And work their way up. Like, like me. They were once where I was. And all I'm trying to do is build. And I'm not going to let some motherfucker like you try to ruin that for me. Even mo the most successful YouTubers struggle with these kinds of people. And I, and I hope they fight back. Grow that backbone. Throw these motherfuckers to the pit. What I mean is, make them feel inferior. Because they're not, they're not on here to show how creative they are like all of us are. They are here to destroy. And make people turn against each other. That's their goal. Now, 
to all you haters. You may have su successfully made several people stop YouTube, but you're going to have fun with me. I am the most stubborn motherfuckers you will ever meet. Have fun. I encourage you to bring it. Bring on the hate. Because I can show you how hateful I can get to. You mean nothing to me. Your words are nothing to me. But I will reassure you that my words will cut deep. I mean real deep. To the point to where you'll never fuck with me again. I won't bully you. I won't threaten you. I will use the truth and logic on your dumb ass. You will not have power over me. I'll always have power over you fucking haters. I'm immune to everything you throw at me. Bring it. That's all I gotta say. Bring it on. I will be waiting. To the rest of you creative YouTubers. As always, stay positive. Don't let us drag you down. I love you all to death and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.